In this video we're going to look at sending JSON data over MQTT using Node-RED. Now the main use of this is if we're combining sensor data. So imagine we got several sensors and we could publish those, that sensor data individually. So one sensor, one, one sensor topic. And we could also combine that, that, that data into a single sensor topic and publish the data together as a, as a single unit. And if we have a look here, these are our two methods that we, we could use. We could use the single sensor, single topic method, or we could use the combined method where we publish on a combined topic and we publish the data together. Now, we don't normally publish data like this, although we could do, because there's no clear correlation between this value here and the sensor one here. So what we normally do is we actually combine it into an object and it will look more like this. So sensor one on, sensor two on, sensor three off. And this would start off as a JavaScript object and it would be converted into a JSON data, the JSON uh, string to be sent over onto uh, MQTT. And what we're going to simulate or demonstrate in the video is we're going to simulate something like this where we've got multiple sensor inputs. They could be door sensors. We're going to simulate a house. They could be door sensors, temperature sensors, uh, or they could be coming from a machine. So they, they could be the speed of the rotation. They could be pressure and all kinds of things. We feed them into a hub. And now usually this hub is what we do is we scan these input values at a predetermined time. So every second or every half a second or whatever the interval is. And then we combine all the sensor values in to a single value and we send it over on MQTT. And that's what we're going, going to do in the Umla video. So this is our node red flow and this is the published side of the flow and this is the subscribe side of the flow. So we, we're just using this really so we can debug it. And the first thing here I've got is some inject nodes and these inject nodes are going to be used to simulate the sensors. And the first one here, I just want to show you that we can actually inject the data directly as JSON encoded data used in this one here. And you can see here that we're using JSON and we're sending the data directly as a JSON encoded string. And we send it into our MQTT node, which publishes it. This node here receives it, and we then decode it, and then we pass it on to the debug node. This debug node here will publish the entire object, the message object. This debug node here will publish just the payload, and it won't decode it. It will just publish it as, as it is. Okay, uh, as I say, these are really just for demonstration. So let's give it a go. And you can see it's worked as expected. The, we're publishing S1 on, and we, that's what we saw S1 on. Uh, the reason I published to this one here, so we could actually see the entire message object, and you can see here I'm publishing on the topics as sensor one, which is what I expected. Okay. So that aside, these are the other two inject nodes, and these basically are simulating our sensors. So all I do is press this, and it will inject the value on topic has sensor 2 into this function node, and this one will do sensor 3. Now what we, we have, or what we would have in real life, is that the hub would be collecting the sensor data, and at a predetermined interval, as I said, every second, every half a second, or whatever it was, it would combine that data and send it off. Now, this function is basically going to combine the data. And it's going to wait until it actually is told to send the data. So it's not going to send it as it comes in. It's going to send it as a predetermined interval. And this is the control that basically sets that interval. I'm going to do it manually, then we're going to do it automatically. So let's have a look at the function. So here's our function. The first thing I do is set up the context object, uh, which is going to store our data, context.data object, which is storing our data. Uh, I log a few things here. I pick out the topic. And then the first thing is there's an if, and I check the payload. I'm going to use the message payload to indicate whether I should be sending the data. If it is send, then I bring the data out of the context object, put it into the payload, and then log a few things, set the topic on the message. Then I set the context.data null, I clear it. Now you can choose whether you clear it or whether you leave it. 
if you leave it then it will get overwritten when the new data comes in uh, I'm choosing to clear it but it's it's a I would say a desi design decision I'll talk about it towards the end of the video and then we'll return the the message and that message then gets passed on to the JSON node which then passes on to the MQT node which publishes it now if it is isn't send we go on to the else thing here and this is where we store our data we store our payload into the our topic we store that into our context data where it gets remembered so that's going to remember it in the between the function calls and then we return a null returning a null means nothing gets passed on to the next node which which means that nothing gets public so it's done so here we go here so what should happen now is I inject something in here and it gets stored in the function I inject in with this one here it gets stored in the function nothing's going to get sent because remember it just stores it and returns a null and when I inject the send message in here then the function releases the message gets encoded as a JSON string and sent via MQTT out and then we should pick it up over here so let's clear that and let's do it pressed it see we've injected nothing's happened over here injected again again nothing happened now we send it and there we see the message and you can see we're publishing house sensor 2 on house sensor 3 off and that's what we're going to see over here and we're publishing on house sensors that's the combined topic and you remember I saw that when I looked at the function and let's do it again but this time I'm only going to inject the first one and so basically this is simulating that only one sensor has changed in that interval this sensor didn't change and if we send it you can see we only publish the one now remember I said we can choose to clear it if I had chosen to clear it if I had left it then basically I would have still published data for the t for both sensors but the one wouldn't have changed so if you only want to publish change data then you clear the the object if you want to publish the data for for the sensors even though it hasn't hasn't changed then you don't clear the object okay now let's automate that a bit so this time I'm going to set these inject nodes so they run automatically I'm going to set this one for every second so every second is going to inject on into here every two seconds I'm going to inject off and if I look at the to the control and and I'm going to do that every three seconds no these are just random I just pick these just they're just for demonstration so now let's deploy it and you can see the data starting coming in over here now this is all automatic now this is what would happen in real life the the hub would have a scanning interval like I said maybe every second every half a second and during that interval it would collect the data from the sensors and when that interval came or expired it would send off the data so let's stop that the the easiest way to stop it is to disable it and deploy it and it stopped I just want to step back a bit now and talk a bit more about the JSON part of it now I'm, I'm not going to go into the detail of formatting I'll put a link to an article that you tutorial on, on the web about um, JSON formatting and you can read that but if you look at it here you can see everything is in double quotes this is the message payload and the message payload here is a, a JSON string because I haven't converted it into a, a JavaScript object. Now the thing that's doing all the work is this node here and this node is a standard node if I can find it and there it is there and that node will take a JavaScript object and convert it into a JSON string encode it as JSON put in a string and it would do the opposite it will take a string a, a JSON encoded string and convert it into a JavaScript object which is what it's doing here and you can see the message 
I'm printing out the entire message and you can see that's what it looks like there. Now this uh, JSON node here requires a JavaScript object and if I look back at the function you can see the context.data which I use for storing the the data is actually a JavaScript object and you can see if we go further down that we set the message payload here to the context.data object so the, the message payload is actually a JavaScript object and that JavaScript object as the payload is passed into the, the JSON node and then sent off to MQTT or the MQTT publisher. There's nothing special about the MQTT publisher that we haven't already seen in the other videos. So that brings us to the end of the video. If you've got any comments then please leave them below. If you like the video then you click on the like button below and if you want to be notified when I publish uh, new videos to the channel then you can always subscribe. Until next time, goodbye.